you know, through years, you kind of said on to the next one's kind of that mentality. Is that easier or harder to do when you have a loss like you had last weekend? Oh, it's just the only thing you can do, really. Um, so hopefully it's already out um, of minds. I mean, I think we're already focused on L.A. Uh, not much you can do. And we just uh, – it never feels good losing anything. So we just got to get on to the next one, and hopefully uh, we can do better. How quickly do you usually get over a loss like that? Yeah, I mean, it was fairly easy because, I mean, for me, the game was – it was an equal game. And a thing that happens in soccer, like, things happen that you, you, that you don't – you're not necessarily meaning. And then if you slow it down and throw it on uh, slow motion, it can it, – it's going to look bad. But I don't think that was a penalty. And I think that changed the whole, whole game and what was an equal game. Uh, turn the game on its head so it, it was pretty easy to get over it and um, because I think into up until the, the penalty kick it was an equal game and uh, who knows what would happen so with all the international call-ins and with the red card suspensions as well the lineup has to look really different it's looked really cohesive and Mike has talked about how much you guys worked on that in camp how hard is that to recapture that with a different group of guys in a week well, it was, I mean, this game coming up, if we had a, all, everybody healthy and er, nobody away for international, it was going to be a, a really tough game anyway. So now it's going to be um, a bit of a harder challenge for us. But, um, guys, this is an opportunity for guys to get in there and, and uh, get some real serious game time experience against a really good team and uh, you know, see if we can get something out of it and um, look good not only as a team but individually as well. Was there anything that you felt encouraged about based on the last game? Yeah, the first 30 minutes. I thought we were pretty good. Um, we had a little bit of it. They had a little bit of it. But, um, you know, still at 0-0 zero, zero on the road, 30 minutes in. I feel pretty good. I think it was going to be a throw-in for them. Um, so there was a lot of, a lot of things that, that were good to take. And um, so just take that and, and kind of move on. 30. It was on the road, and you did have another result on the road this year. Are you encouraged about, I mean, projecting ahead of the whole season that you guys are maybe taking that next step where maybe road, road performances and results might not be as difficult as last year? Well, I hope so. I think um, it definitely had a better feel. Um, you know, I, I think we all felt pretty comfortable at the time, and 30 minutes in, 0-0 zero, zero on the road. Um, had a similar feel to Houston. And um, so, you know, hopefully those trends continue. It's going to – it's always – difficult to keep that uh, that consistency and those trends going the whole entire season, but that's uh, what we're going to look to do, and uh, hopefully we can get back right to it this weekend. How different is the feeling knowing that the majority of the players that are out for next game are attacking players and not just, they're not all over the roster, but like, it's that specific part of the field that you guys are going to be missing? Um, yeah, it's just, uh, I mean, whether it's guys in the back, up top, it's going to provide some challenges, but um, it also provides opportunities for guys to get get some time and get some minutes and show well and, and try and get a result. Um, and so we got a lot of work this week to try and gel it and get the guys uh, that are going to be new in the lineup, get them feeling comfortable as possible and as quick as possible. And then it's going to go out and it's going to be a grind. It's going to be extremely tough, but uh, we, we feel like there's, there's definitely an opportunity and a possibility to get a result in L.A. The last time you guys were there was during the playoffs when you knocked them out of that knockout round. Um, how much are you anticipating maybe a little extra motivation from the other side knowing that that was the last time you guys played them? Yeah, I'm sure they want to crush us. They want to, you know, get back from that playoff. So whether the playoffs happen or not is going to be extremely tough. They're a good team. they got great players. And so it's going to take all of us defending and all of us attacking. And um, it's going to be an all-out effort. And, and uh we got to put our bodies on the line for 90 minutes, and hopefully we can get something out of it. Sometimes it takes a while for a fan base and a club to really bond, but it seems like, man, the people behind the goal down there, they are all in right away. Do you feel that when you're playing in that stadium? Yeah, it's a, it's a really good atmosphere for sure. Um, I think what their club did really well is they got the fans uh, involved right from the beginning. So when they felt we're building this team and the years, two years out, they got the fan base first. and. Um, really wanted them to make feel uh, to feel a part of what they were building there, and um, it definitely they did an excellent job. The stadium's first class, and uh, the atmosphere is is uh, 
it's one of the top, if not the top in the league.